everyone. This is the third video today, and um, we're doing another reaction video to from Watch Mojo. It's called Top Ten Superheroes That Need Their Own Movies. They are in the DC Cinematic Universe. I hope they do. And I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Some characters are simply too big for the pages of the comic book. I never imagined I'd meet a human so complimentary to myself. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 superheroes that need their own movie. I'm what this city needs! For this list, we're looking at superheroes or comic book stories that have not yet been the star of a theatrically released motion picture. Starring in a TV movie or a made-for-video movie doesn't count. The main man's contract's complete! Number 10, Marvel Zombies. <laughs> No. Well. No. No. Superheroes are They're popular just... on the screen. Zombies are popular on the screen. So why haven't the Marvel zombies lumbered into the movie theaters across the country? The premise is pure cinematic gold. In an alternate reality, a deadly virus is turning the meta-humans into the walking dead with a taste for human flesh. Once their food supply on Earth is depleted, what can stop them from taking their super zombified selves into space and spreading the virus on a cosmic level? Well, only a three-picture deal can answer that question. Number 9. Martian Manhunter We have to discuss this. He's big, he's green, he can kick criminal butt with the best of them. What more does a person need in a superhero? Maybe a little tragic backstory? Well, he's got that covered too. When did you turn into a coward? He is not a coward. Men who have seen battle are often among those who hold life most dear. The origin of John Johns, the Manhunter from Mars, has undergone alterations throughout the years. However, in many versions, he is the sole survivor of the Martian race. I've already lost one home. I made a promise to protect my new one. That fact gives the character a bit of drama that would work really well on screen. Plus, with his shape-shifting abilities, he's a visual treat for the modern CGI world. I've read his mind. He's telling the truth. Regardless, we have a responsibility to the millions of people being oppressed on his world. Number 8. Power Girl It's really important. Originally conceived as the counterpart of Supergirl in the alternate reality known as Earth 2, Power Girl's origin has changed in a confusing manner throughout the years. <laughs> About all that remained consistent was her distinctive peekaboo costume, and even that got the axe in the new 52. And boring's good, isn't it? Whatever her origin, the character's awesome power set and emotional complexity would invigorate any film that's built around her. Go. Number 7, Spectre. I am vengeance. I am the Spectre. Hey, the Spectre was charged by a mysterious heavenly voice to eradicate evil. Get away from me! As you wish, but you will never escape your fate. As such, there could be broad cross-demographic appeal for a movie starring the ghostly guardian. With his magic-based powers and his unquenchable thirst for vengeance, the Spectre would attract both traditional superhero fans and horror flick devotees. You can't kill a dead man. The guilty must be punished for their crimes. As a matter of fact, staying true to the spirit of the Spectre and his penchant for graphic punishment would almost guarantee an NC-17 rating. Ooh. Number 6. Deathstroke Battle Stations. Deathstroke isn't exactly what you'd call a good guy, but he is such an awesome character that he needs his own movie. He's often forced into a reluctant heroic role, and that makes him an especially interesting character to bring to the screen. Betrayal, destruction, revenge, we really do think alike. Cunning, ruthless, and brilliant, Deathstroke gains superpowers as part of a top-secret U.S. Army experiment. With his enhanced skills, he is almost an unstoppable mercenary and assassin. Whether playing the villain or the anti-hero, Deathstroke's presence means plenty of action, subterfuge, and adventure. Robin, that was vicious, dishonorable, and ruthless. Excellent work. Number five, Lobo. 
Ah, so yeah. Lobo's got Lobo got Lobo. Lobo started as a DC fan. parody of Marvel's Wolverine, an unstable badass with a tendency towards blood-soaked lunacy. So one more time, surrender or die. A bounty hunter from another world, he often gives new meaning to the term over the top, tooling around on an awesome interstellar bike called the Space Hog. Lobo creates a special brand of darkly comic, hyperactive chaos. <gasps> Time to die, Krolo. It's possible that his outsized personality might be too big for the silver screen, but with the right actor-director combo, it could create some very special movie madness. Okay, big guy, let's see how much punishment you can- oh! Casey Fem thinks she can take down the main man. Number four, Teen Titans. Teen Titans. It's like tempting the new just to create a film Logan around stuff. Raven, the enigmatic empath with some really serious daddy issues. This party is pointless. Everything's pointless. Wanna go talk about it? But starting off with a film featuring the whole Teen Titans crew is probably the way to go. The youth that grew up with the animated version of the team on TV the would jump at seeing them in the Titans, theaters. With Nightwing and Starfire's like halting roster, romance, Cyborg and Beast Boy's bro bantering, and Raven's Dark Knight of the Soul routine, there would be no shortage of paths to explore on screen. Nice intensity. Yeah, have any good freakouts lately? I just got sick of being pushed around. The problem would be deciding which other members from the team's decades-long history to include. Let me guess. Cyborg. Pleased to meet you, little lady. Number three, Silver Surfer. Yes. Can we, we talk? Are begging for okay, so the second the Fantastic Four movie. film was a huge fumble, but we can't blame it on the surfer. Oh, that is cool. The dude is the essence of cool. First, there's the look, with the awesome silver metallic skin and bizarre but epic surfboard. Then, there's his outsider status. He doesn't belong on Earth, but he doesn't really belong anywhere else. And he's got that mournful, melancholy thing that's mixed with a lot of righteous anger. All that you know is at an end. Listen, just give the project to a director with an original flair for visuals, and the picture will practically make itself. For the first time since I became the Silver Surfer, do I fully understand why the universe needs me. I will not allow it to die. Number two, Nightwing. That's Nightwing. Yeah, Who's the bat's I would first love sidekick. That. The first Robin. If his mentor Batman can have a whole string of movies, then why can't Nightwing catch a break? No offense to the Cape Crusader, but Nightwing can do a lot of what the Dark Knight can do, and without all the brooding. Need a hand? No. Plus, he's a generation younger, so he brings extra youth appeal that can't hurt at the box office. A Nightwing film could feature the same kind of detective stories and colorful villains as a Batman film, but can do it all with a somewhat more relatable lead character. He wouldn't lose anything in the action or drama, but might gain something in tone and heart. Oh, bird boy, you're so much less fun now. All grown up and in your big boy pants. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Is that Black Canary? Oh uh, yeah, I was right, Black Canary. Fearless Defenders. Oh, an all woman, the Storm. Number one, Black Widow. Hey, Sam. Black Widow. The biggest female superhero on the silver screen, and she doesn't have her own movie? Talk about injustice. The superhero world is largely a boys' club, but Black Widow is the equal, if not the superior, of any of her fellow Avengers. Besides, her Russian super spy turned Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. backstory holds countless dramatic possibilities for a film. Let me put you on hold. ScarJo herself has proven that she can carry a movie on her shoulders. Come on, Marvel, you can make this happen. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Do you agree with our choices? That's impressive. Nothing we haven't seen before. What other amazing superheroes deserve to throw their punches on the big screen? For more enthralling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Thank you for your cooperation.
So that was it. And um, I said no to Marvel Zombies because I don't see it happening because I don't like Marvel Zombies. I don't like what they do to do to the heroes. Everyone likes it, but I don't... I do like zombie stuff, but... But making the Marvel heroes into zombies... That either, it's, it's an idea that's good, but I don't want to see a movie that has superheroes and zombies, right? So, anyway, that's it for today. I'm so tired right now, and, um, yeah, um, tomorrow I will, um, oh yeah, special announcement, alright, the special announcement will be uploaded after, alright, I'm at Will the Comic Geek, I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.